And our live coverage continues now with CBS News Miami's Larry Seward. He is live in Tampa with the latest conditions there and a lot different from where we saw Anna, Larry. Yes, Mary Bell, the conditions here, very rainy. I want to set the scene behind me. That is the road toward Tampa's airport in downtown Tampa. Look to your right, though. You can see the white caps of the waves. We're keeping an eye on the storm surge. You can see how high the tide is right now, and it's not at its peak yet. If to the left, you can see sort of debris piles there. I want to give you a closer look at what this is. The water earlier was so high that it has pushed pieces of, of wood bark, of trees, of debris, but there's also pieces of someone's dock here and there, larger pieces as well. There's a jet ski you can see that's unmoored. We're told by people that live in apartments that are just to your left that this water is five feet higher than it normally is. I do want to show you something that is out there in the water, just probably about 30 feet. Notice the boats that are there. You see the railing that is next to them to the right there. That is a floating dock. It is higher than the actual dock. That is how high the water is here in Tampa Bay right now. Again, I mentioned people that live Along here, there are condos, there are apartments there. Some of these are new structures. There are people that we met that are have decided to ride out the storm while they're there. We see some city crews that are lined up along the street there on the far side. Not exactly sure what they're doing. We've seen some sweeping trucks. There's a bulldozer preparing to clear debris, we, we think. But again, at this point, uh, there is water that is approaching the roadway here. We're keeping our eye out on it because there is the potential for a storm surge of minimum three three feet in some forecasts, forecast up to six feet. Um, so that's something to bear watching because if there's three feet more water, we're talking about mid thigh on me. That's something that will cover this causeway, the Campbell Causeway, which residents say that has never happened since they've lived here. Something to bear uh, watching as we go forward throughout the day. For now, we're live in Tampa. Larry Seward, CBS News, Miami. And speaking of that causeway, Larry, I was just going to ask you, I mean, is that like uh, 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 one of the main causeways there in the area? Is it is it closed right now? There's yes. what's what's going on there? I see that obviously yes. there's no cars on the road. Yes. Right, so it is closed. I want to show you this, Mary Bell, as I, I walk in this direction. This is the way that you get to Clearwater. And if you continue straight along the causeway here, the Campbell Causeway, you will run directly into the aquarium. That bridge is closed. No residents, no citizens whatsoever allowed to cross the bridge right now. And that is true for all of the barrier islands in the Tampa Bay area. We're talking about 13 communities, including St. Pete Beach and obviously Clearwater. So the bridge is shut down. Uh, they're controlling access, again, concerned about the inundation from this rising water. All right, Larry, thank you so much, and stay safe out there.